Hello and welcome and it's finally time to actually start making the new conversion and I'd like to introduce you to my new range of eco pods. Uh, yes, this is my new eco conversion. It's fully recyclable, very cheap to make. Um, it'll blow over in a really strong wind, um, easy to set fire to and just don't get it wet, okay? Um, no, obviously I am now just mocking up the new conversion. As you can see, I've got a new kind of side panel thing going on. Um, so that's going to give me a bit of extra storage there. And obviously the whole thing does look physically a lot bigger. That's because it's physically a lot bigger. Um, yeah, so the cat thinks I'm building a, some kind of new cardboard cat mansion. Um, I'm not doing that, no. So um, I think it's time to take this from like this concept and start chopping up bits of wood. So here's the wood that I've actually chosen. It's called driftwood, I think, and it's a lightweight plywood. As you can see, it's laminated on both sides. Um, it's kind of like a gray brown sort of color. So I think it's going to work quite well. Looks a bit posh, actually. Um, not like me at all. Right then, let's get cutting it up. So now I've chopped up several bits of wood. Um, it's not very interesting because they're all about the same kind of shape. And I'm just going to kind of rough put it together just around the fridge because I'm using the fridge as kind of like my center point because obviously everything's got to measure off that. It's got to fit in perfectly. I do tend to mock up things quite a lot and uh, like several times just to make sure everything's fitting nicely. It's always worth doing just to check. Okay, so here we have, I'm kind of mocking it up again. I've got the two, kind of like the front and the back cut. The front panel's cut. This isn't, oops, this is not the uh, the worktop that I'm going to be using. Um, this is just temporary and I've got a little middle bit there. I've left it as a gap at the top so I can get the, the waste pipe through there and any electrical cabling, which I'm probably going to switch as I get up there. Um, and this is my representation of the new sink that I'm going to get. So as you can see, it's much bigger. I'm going for the, a rectangular sink. And I can have like an inset chopping board type thing in there. Um, I'm not going to have a tap. I'm going to get on to why I'm not going to have a tap um, later on. And you'll see what I do there. Um, it's something I've always thought about doing because I, I don't really like too many sort of like water connections going on. And the water taps are just a pain in the butt, really. They work when they're working, they're absolutely fine, but um, they can break down. Uh, and I don't really like the little plastic the way the, the water pipe connects up into them. They're always breaking and I don't like it near the electrical stuff. So I've decided to cut down as much as possible and I'm going to go with something completely different. And you'll, like I said, you'll see what I do. But um, here we are so far. I'm actually waiting for some angle brackets to come so I can actually connect these bits together and um, start fitting it into the van and just see sort of like the rough size and I can cut that panel on the side on the side of the van so I can sort of like then get which will actually be meeting up with here and then we can see how that's all going to fit together so there that's it for now so we decided to literally chuck the whole thing inside the van just to see how it's fitting and it's looking pretty nice actually I quite like the colour with the van um, I can see how the side panel's fitting now um, again not going to be the same work that's not going to be the worktop I'm going to got to decide on that yet but um yeah, I reckon it's going to be quite a good bit of space in there for storage. As you can see, I'm actually going to cut through. I'm going to have a one long uh, cupboard there. It's going to go left to right. It's going to go all the way to the side of the van. So I'm actually going to quickly change uh, direction here. We're going to focus attention on the small seat now because that is obviously the wrong colour. I need to get it into the new wood. So time to get the little seat out and let's rebuild it. So as you can see, I've got all my bits of wood chopped up and I'm just marking out the side panels because they're the most tricky bits. Uh, these, the rest of the wood is kind of just either squares or rectangles, but these have got obviously these curves in there. And I'll show you what I do with these. Um, my first kind of process is I draw my line and then I just roughly cut very close to the line with a jigsaw. And then I move on to a flush trim bit on my router and I use the old 
side bits as my templates and I just kind of stick them together and I flush trim them so they're exactly as they was before. So the next really satisfying job to do is to trim the edge of this plywood with some knock-on edge trim. Now to do this I've got my T-trim router bit which is puts a 2mm groove in the edge of all the, uh, the plywood. You just got to run it round and yeah it is quite satisfying this part. So after cutting the groove for the edge trim, I now knock on the actual edge trim. And as you can see, I've gone for this nice black color. I think it's gonna work quite well with this uh, color of wood that I've gone for. So the next thing to do is to drill all the holes now so I can attach everything together. Now I do actually use quite long screws for this because it is actually a seat so I don't want to put it together with those little plastic angle blocks. Um, this makes the whole seat a lot stronger so that's the way to go. So as you can see I've now got the uh, box actually attached together I'm using these really nice uh, stainless steel cup washers for the front. I think these kind of give it a really nice look. Um, I always love those things. I also reuse the piano hinge for the lid and basically put it all together and then we can have a look at the uh, the final piece So as much as I'd like to sit here and just admire the little storage seat, I've got to move on. So next thing we're going to do is actually try and sort out the stove slider drawer. Now if you remember in the last build I did actually have a stove slider and it's so I could just like a pull out drawer where the cooker was. I'm going to have that in this one because I think it was a really useful thing. So I've got to try and figure out how that's going to go and cut out the actual front face of the panel for my little drawer front. So the way I decided to tackle this was to create a template first and then I can use that and the flush trim router so I can cut it out roughly with the jigsaw and do the same thing as I did before and then flush trim router out and then hopefully it'll be perfect. So that's exactly what I set out to do and I first off drill a couple of little holes close to each other so I can get the jigsaw blade in and then very carefully because this is you know I could be ruining quite a big piece of wood here it's gonna be a very expensive mistake so um, <laughs> I'm absolutely uh, myself really um, <laughs> and then uh, once I've uh, jigsawed it all out I then do a similar thing as I did before with the small seat put the template over the top and just flush trim route it out So I slapped the panel back onto the cabinet and I'm pretty happy with this. I must admit I am caressing it slightly and um, yeah, I think it's time to put the runners in and make sure that they're going to work out all right. So I just put in a quick temporary base uh, just so I can test out the sliding mechanism and make sure the new stove will actually fit inside. Obviously I've measured it, but there is my new stove as well. Ooh, fancy pants. So the next thing I do is cut out the cupboard door. I don't show you the entire process of this, but I do the edge trim as well. So I do the internal edge trim for both of the, uh, the stove slider and the cupboard door and the outside of the actual, um, the whole side piece as well.
So in the last video, you saw me remove my rear heater matrix. Now in the bottom of that kind of well, I'm gonna have hopefully a diesel heater and maybe a waste storage thing, not entirely sure yet, but I need to put a solid board across it and then I can rest my conversion on top of that. So I actually forget to film making the board, but this is the cardboard template that I use and it looks just like that because it's made out of MDF. So another thing that I actually forgot to film was cutting out this whole side panel, which is the bit that's on the end of the kitchen unit and it's creating the new kind of wall, I suppose. Um, yeah, but I'll get back to that again because we're gonna cut some actual um, cupboards into there. But as you can see, I've kind of cut this into the shape of the uh, existing plastic uh, trim panel. And um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go inside, put it in the van and have a look at it all kind of in there at the moment and see how far we've got. So I've got everything in. Um, this is the main construction part done. Um, obviously I've got the kitchen unit and I've got the side panel. Um, I'm pretty happy with most things now. Um, I've just got to retrim this maybe at the, the edge there because it, it kind of moved around a little bit, but on the whole, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got a really nice big cupboard on here. As you can see, it goes all the way through uh, to the side panel of the van. And I reckon that's going to be a really decent um, size cupboard. Um, so I've got to do some things there. I've got a timbre door to go in there. And I say I've got these cupboards I'm going to put in here. So I've got to build that out the back. So obviously you put anything in there, it doesn't just fall out or anything like that. Um, so that'd be pretty cool, I think. And then obviously got my slide out cooker drawer. And that's, that's got a really nice action to it. Got the new cooker in there. I thought it'd be good to get a kind of like a different uh, color because the blue one wasn't really going to match this one anymore. So done with this one plus it's quite a low profile one i put uh recut the base for this so that's all nicely sort of finished so it looks the same when you open the drawer and it's a uh, it's got a pretty nice action when you close that so um so i think i'm pretty happy with it so far obviously i've got the little footstool in there as well so that's quite a lot of work done um in this week um, i'm pretty knackered actually um that took me a long <laughs> that was a lot of hours to get that done so I'm going to have to stop there because I've only got so many hours in the day and we'll save some bits for another video. And um, yeah, because I've got all the, the unit to do and all the electrical work that I'm going to carry out to it as well. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll join me in the next video and see where we, we go from here. So let's uh, so say thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.